Good morning. It's day three now. <laughs> it didn't take long to get through day two, did it? But no, I've been driving the whole time. Um, and I parked up here uh, last night. I'm up nice and early. It's only uh, half past six. And uh, I'm ready to roll. And it's, well, the sun's coming up. Uh, what did I, I notice on the way up? Very, very quiet, nothing on the roads, uh, dog car, uh, but mainly, <coughs> excuse me, lorries. Um, and then the police were stopping us at the border. It didn't stop me, I got straight through. And that was about the only difference, other than uh, people in Spain were taking it very very seriously and uh, keeping their distance and everybody staying indoors and and so on. In France, uh, well, people were pretty much staying indoors too and it was, the roads were really quiet and France isn't in lockdown, as far as I know, it's not in lockdown and uh, there wasn't that many people about. But they're all, or the ones that are walking about, are walking about and they're, they're wearing uh, masks. Even the ones that's driving, that's what surprised me. I, I spotted the, the first one and then I had another look. I started looking into cars. And yeah, most of them were wearing, if not all, were wearing masks. And yet in Britain we're told that masks are of no consequence. So I'm looking forward to getting to Britain to see how they're taking all this. Well, I'm pretty much at the halfway mark uh, and I've just fueled up 145 euros to fill my gas tank, uh, which is really good, which means by the time I get to Cali, I think I'll only have used about 300 uh, euros. Great stuff. Um, the funny thing about that place is nobody's got any protection. I was wearing my gloves and the lassie, the shop doors open, which definitely wasn't in Spain, and some of the ones in France haven't been open. Uh, you know, they've got the shutters down. You've got to pay through a little window. But here, the door's open. You can go in, you can tour the store to buy wipers and things like that. But uh, the lassie's standing there, no mask, no... Uh, which I agree with, but uh, no gloves either. And she's touching everybody else's money, touching everybody else's credit cards, things like that. Uh, yeah, best of luck to her, she was very nice. Uh, she had one of those adapters for me because I left mine in Spain. Uh, I pretty much remember putting it, I took off the secondary adapter and put the French one down uh, on the counter and I'm once I'd paid I'm pretty sure that I left without actually picking up the adapter which wasn't so good uh, but I just managed to buy one there as well uh, 10 euros so she lent me one plus when I went back in I asked if uh, I, if they had any for sale and she says yes so I bought one, 10 euros. I think the first one cost me 15. So it's cheaper as well down here. Anyway, on the road. I just got stopped by the French police. It's a, a roadblock. And the three cars, the three cars in front of me have all been pulled into the side. They just stopped me, asked uh, if I spoke English to be uh, French to begin with. <clears throat> and uh, asked me where I was going and I said Cali and they said home and I says yes Scotland and uh, they let me go so I'm assuming prepare to go through the roundabout after half a mile I'm assuming now uh, France is in some kind of lockdown as well 
Um, why else would they be asking people where they're going? Maybe it's the same as Spain now. Uh, when when they're uh, only allowed to be going on essential travel, and for the state of the roads, there's there's not many vehicles out. So I think I'm right on that one. I'm not in any hurry now, though. Uh, I've one more night at least to spend in France, so. Uh, the roundabout, taking the first exit. Actually, I was thinking of uh, just turning right and going Take to Bulgaria. Oh, Nation shut up for a minute, will you? Anyway, uh, I was thinking of turning right, turning east, Prepare and just. And just heading for uh, Bulgaria. Why, you may ask? Well, from what I heard, I haven't had internet all day yesterday or today. So, but what I've heard before, before I left was uh, uh, that place in China is down to only one casualty, I think it was, uh, picking up the virus. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah. So, maybe it is only a time thing. We'll see. I'll definitely go to England, uh, at least, and uh, MOT the wagon. And then we'll see where I'm going from there. Go over the roundabout, taking the first exit. This is the worst of avoiding toll roads. You end up Take in these the roads. Towards, towards sand. And it's roundabout after roundabout after roundabout. <laughs> Beautiful scenery on this part of the road. It just shows you how high up I was. I don't know if you can see from from there, but uh, yeah, we're up on top of the hills. No wonder it was bloody cold. Ah, ah, we've hit the motorway and it's a bit busier. One in front of me and one on the other side. Aha! Another car coming the other way. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to get closer to the ferry that... I, I tried last night to get on one in the next... Uh, either today or, or uh, tomorrow, but it's fully booked. So, uh, I'm just trying to get closer to the, the ferry port. But... Uh, if it does open up again, I can get straight on it. Remember my MOT's, my MOT's due on the 15th of April. So, let's hope they don't close it down for a while longer. Which I, I can see them doing. Oh, another car. Getting busy. <laughs> at the border, stop with people coming into Spain, but letting us go out. And that's the first police I've seen today, so that's Continue good. Continue on to Pont Saint-Jacques, D912, then slide right onto the ramp to A63. I wonder if the French are going to stop us on the other side. Uh, which way do you want me to go? Oh, right. 